Lovely, lovely. Just tricked you there. Know. Got a good signal. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first draft. Try it. Afternoon, people. Oh, we've got the timer. Been using the phone a bit. Oh, okay. okay. Anyway, right. <laughs> this is like um, as New England IPAs go. This is like Battle of the British Boys here, isn't it? These are two heavyweights. These are brilliant, brilliant um, beers. I can't wait to put them head to head and see who's going to come out on top. So, right. Cut a long story short. Hackney Church Brewing. As you can see from the artwork, they deliver. This one recently reviewed by ourselves has scored a massive 10 by Michelle. But you have these ones in North London here, right by Spurs, by the way. Gravity Well. Now, we haven't tried um, any of their yeah, I was I say, Trembling you Madness. Of, um, top yeah. I got that from Trembling Madness, <laughs> by the way. That came direct from Hackney Church Brewery. Um, We've only tried their sours, but Jesus, they've delivered, and Jesus, I've heard some real good things about yeah, them. That but, everyone is speaking yeah. so highly of these guys, so I think we for a treat, try and pair of them head to head. Yeah, um, Hackney Church Brewing, as a lot of you know, we, we know the, a lot of them there, and they are a great brewery. <laughs> they Fantastic. make, Hackney Church Brewing make you know that in life there's more than perfect draft. <laughs> And I never thought I'd say that, especially about a British brewery, which again yeah. kind of makes me feel proud of that. And it's a pleasure to know some of the people there personally. Sometimes you find a hidden gem, and these guys for me were the hidden gem. That I found. That you found, yes, I have well, to credit take, for that. Well, we should <laughs> take that in E17, see? You never know it. Right, okay. I'm going to pour the Gravity Well. Michelle's going to uh, pour that. This is... Um, for us personally, this is a, a huge one because we've heard really good things about this. We've tried this. I mean, Michelle described what's in the box as the best New England, New England IPA, IPA I've ever tasted. And a certain other person agreed with us as I well. I recommended it to someone else yep. and they tried it and they agreed with me. Um, 6.8 yeah. um, ABV, I'm on the 6.5. Both in a four forty mil can, both four pounds something each. Uh, let's be honest, that's not that much if it's top quality, which we know that one already is. I mean, look at the colour of what you're pouring there. Wow, look at the colour of this coming through here, people. Oh, look. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we want to be putting the glasses in the wrong way here because from what I'm yeah, really looking at, do that here, like that. <laughs> yeah, they are oh, um, very similar looking. Obviously, unfortunately, we don't have the gravity well glass, so we put them both in the Hackney Church brew glasses, which are absolute classic glasses. We've done many of our reviews in these, haven't we? I'm getting yeah. my money's worth out of these glasses. Right, let's get a shot. The smell of the fruits it coming off the. Oh, fine. Hold on. Give me time, people. I'm getting old. Give me, give me half an hour. <laughs> I'll, I'll be there. She likes saying that. She's so asked it for you. Let's get that. Can you put that one out of the way, please? Because when he tries to edit yep. the thing, that's what it picks up. I'm not being funny. So my son does the editing, and he says, "Get them bloody things out of the background." Oh, don't leave it there. That's criminal. Oh, oh, oh. Put that there. Yeah. Yeah, check it out. It when, was. Oh. Yeah, later. Okay. So... <laughs> she means no. F off. <laughs> That's what she's trying to say. I'm because the camera's running, she's not had a few yet. If she had had a few, it'd be like F. Colour yeah. wise, they are almost identical. Um, yeah. Really hazy, wonderful, this wonderful golden orangey kind of colour. It really 
Yeah, they, they both look fantastic. They do. They, they, these, I mean, people say that it amazes me still now. I mean, Jacob, we don't know enough about Gravity World, but Jacob from Hackney Church proves a point that the English can brew. Can brew. Can brew <laughs> when you're enough, you can. Can brew <laughs> Hell's Lagers, and they both prove we can brew, uh, do, brew the souls. I'm going to give you a little bit of background on this because I can um, look their stuff up and there's a good write-up on it. It says, unlock the mystery with what's in the box. This exhilarating New England IPA is a transatlantic collaboration between Hackney Church Brewing Company and Second Scene Brewing. From America, that is. Classic US hops, Columbus and Mosaic, intertwined with new UK gems, Jester and Oli... Olicano, I think I've pronounced that right, creating a tantalising blend of fruit flavours that keeps you guessing sip after sip. So that kind of write-up, you would expect it to be good. I know it's good. I'm hoping that this oh, is going to oh. deliver as well. It looks like it might. I think it will. I have no doubt about it. The aroma that I'm picking up from these, just from opening the cans and pouring them, you've got this wonderful fruit smell and you are getting a really lovely hoppy aroma coming through as well. So, uh, big and bold New England style IPA led by Mosaic, backed up with Citra and Nelson Sauvignon. Suitable for vegans, which I'm sure Jacob's is as well. Brewed and canned by Gravity, well, well, which is basically Gravity Well is Tottenham. So there you go. M17. You know the postcode Spurs fans. Um, there's a place they have right by Spurs, which is our football club. And you've got to face it, the artwork on both these cans is fantastic brilliant. as yeah. well. They really, the really, attention to really detail. Very, very lovely. I would say so. Hackney probably shades it, if I'm honest there. That's Hamish, he's some, some design in it for Actually, brilliant. Right. What way go. are we going to go about this? I don't know. I don't know what's the best way to go about it. I'm going to go with this one first. Well, we'll go with that one first, yeah. Massively hoppy. I, I'm really picking up the hops from this one. Um, loads, loads of fruit coming through there as well. Yeah, you could smell the fruit as you were pouring it. So much mixed fruit there. This like, ooh. Oh, she's not giving nothing away. Oh, do 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 do. Oh, blimey, yeah. Okay, but. But, 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 but. Why do you think she's. Grilling like a Cheshire cat at me. I don't get what this game is. <laughs> this is not even close. Far away. Okay. This is a great New England IPA. It's really good. If I hadn't tried this one, I'd be raving over it. Um, it's lovely. There's loads of fruit there. There's loads of punchy uh, hoppiness at the end. I really like it, but once you get spoiled by something that is near on blooming perfection, then it's always going to be a runner up. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not <laughs> a, a huge New England IPA drinker, as a lot of you know. For me, they both taste absolutely amazing. Is that one shade in it? Probably. I wouldn't know enough to give a fair assessment, and that's God's honest truth, but they are both absolute beauties. Mm. I mean, if you talk about Hackney Church Brewing, if you check Real Craft Beers channel, Simon, most of you know Simon, most people in England know Simon. Yeah. <laughs> watch yeah, his, watch his West Beer, uh, Weizen Beer review today on Hackney Church Brewing, which gives you a little bit of insight, which shows it's not just us with this one, but yeah, they're both delivering absolutely. I'm not trying to take anything away from this beer at all. It is very, very good. Um, there's just something about what's in the box that has a 
brilliant balance of they're very similar fruit. to me um the balance is the balance of the fruit to the hops yeah that's why i'm not if it's a rising beer i can go into more yeah. detail i don't i'm not an expert on any beer don't get me wrong on that one mm. i don't claim to be but they're both absolute crackers aren't they Not having an issue. I'm not having it. That is still a 10 out of right. 10. If I could go 11 or 12 out of 10, I would. That is Tottenham. This, that is West Ham. I don't care. That's still better. Oh. <laughs> it just is. It yep, just that's, is. That's why I let you take the lead. Uh, friends of ours through Facebook, yep. we've met in person as well. They have a very similar um, taste in beer to me. Like Nigel, yeah. Nigel, if you watch this, Nigel. And this, this is, I'm deliver. so excited about this. I really wanted Nigel to try it. He tried it and he totally agreed with me, which I was so pleased. I knew he would, but it's great to get um, someone backing you up with, with your opinion. Yeah, no, you do doubt yourself when you think you're not sure if you're right. Mm. Mm. I know I'm right, but it, it, it's nice to have someone go, yeah, I agree with you. I it's get just that. the balance. The balance of a drink for me is really, really important. Um, yeah, no. We, we, we tried it on draft, didn't we? Um, only last Friday. When I we did the original, we were like, oh. Like, oh. And he's like, both these breweries, but the, the, the point about this more than if that's better than that or that's better than that, I've, Michelle's yeah. obviously already made her mind up, but come on Definitely. English breweries no, can deliver I, I'm going to say that, that isn't taking anything away from this particular drink it's um, Gravity Well Brewing yep. Company that have made a fantastic New England IPA if that was a 10 that would have to be a 9 yeah yeah definitely all day long definitely. that's like and for me they're, they're really close obviously as I say you do know your stuff a bit more than me on these until recently I, I wouldn't even drink New England IPAs I would now and again but and then I drank that last Friday, and then we had the wine back in. Oh, hell. And you just don't see the alcohol hitting you. The 6.8% there, he's done it to a T that you're getting your hoppiness, but like half of these IPAs, you get your hoppiness, and it's bah, but that is just, it all just blends in. The balance on the drink yeah, is absolutely is unreal. The same with that one as well. That one's delivered as well, without yeah. a doubt. There's a slight hint of a dampness in there. Um, that kind of almost piney kind of taste that you get. I and I, like I think that. that maybe for some people, if you're after that type of thing, you might prefer this because it has got that. Whereas this, for me, it's about fruit explosion and you are getting fruit all round explosion. Yeah, no, I get and that. you are getting that hoppiness and the balance of the two is just spot on. Well, it's just proven that they can say again that UK beers they really can deliver what more can we say this was one that we were quite excited about this today weren't we? <laughs> it's like we're like two kids thinking because I, I brought this obviously earlier in the week from uh, Trembling Madness I must go to Gravity Well and get some but obviously for me being a, a Weizen beer fan I always want to get it's, my, it's my wheat really beers. hard for you to do this kind of review because they aren't your style of beer but yeah I could drink that with a percentage of it and you just don't see it hitting you that shit's going to get you this drunk quick. This is so Moorish. It is so refreshing. Um, you want to sit there just, as you can see, we've gone through half a pint really quickly. And on the day that we were out, I was just like, oh, slow it down. It's quite strong. <laughs> Behave. You never yeah. know what might happen. There's a lot of, you know, <laughs> be very careful when you get too drunk in London. <laughs> but no, they, they've both delivered for me, which I knew they would. I so, said, I don't know enough about Gravity to speak too highly of them, Gravity Well uh, Brewing Company. But the couple of sours that I had from them, they had a sour smoothie and a really sour. Impressive. If you check back on the channel, they're absolutely great. Hackney Church Brewery have delivered with everything. I'm, um, I want to buy, I want him to give me a crap beer so I can say, <laughs> what that beer is shit. Wrong what have you here? done wrong here, mate? <laughs> was, but, you, was you having a bad day when you made that? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't think. For me, New England IPA is the best one I've ever tasted. Yep. And I, I will stick by it. Please, if you get the opportunity to try it, let me know what you think. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, this has been a pleasure to do. Yeah.
Totally. Yeah, I said, I've got another one of them in case we weren't sure on this. So you've got another one of these as well, anyway. Which is a good thing because so, it's a really good beer. It, it's, it really it's just in case it got to that situation, you know, when you're ordering from somewhere. And we, obviously we're trying to cut down because we're trying to move house and everything. And I didn't want to get bundles and bundles and then have to go back and have to spend... Because I have to spend mm. 50, 60, 70 quid, depending on which brewery I use to get free shipping. Because I can't deal with paying the shipping, can I? So I have to top it up because it feels better, doesn't it? But, like, yeah, they both delivered. And it's brilliant. Like, you know, in that part of London, you've got these two breweries that, like... I hope Paul's going to share this out on some of the uh, Facebook groups because I know that there are guys out there who used to talk to me about New England IPAs and I would love for you guys to try this. You will be made up. You will love it. Yeah, no, it's just, it's just different level. And again, it's proving. With you both of them, need, actually. Yeah. Yeah. You don't just need a perfect draft. Yeah. And look, True. Like, cans that Michelle used to say don't deliver, can deliver. With the right brewer. Exactly. And the right product. Yeah. So, right. I'll close this up before I get in trouble. <laughs> Bonjour. Thank you.